I was making my coffee this morning and this idea just rushed over me. It came over every inch of my body. I've never felt more compelled to film a video. So, hello. This morning, I was making my coffee and I wanted to make a TikTok of my coffee. I was like, who makes videos on TikTok that are aesthetic and about food or drinks? How do I say her name? <laughs> I don't want to butcher it. Emily Mariko. Mariko. Mar. Eco. Emily Mariko. Oh. If you guys have not been on TikTok in the past couple months, then you might not know who I'm talking about. But she actually has a YouTube channel. She's been around for a while. I've actually fell in love with her YouTube videos. So Emily, if you ever see this video. I love you. <laughs> She's the girl who went viral on TikTok for salmon and rice. I think just by me saying salmon and rice, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Basically, if you guys watch any of her YouTube videos, she gets so excited over the food that she cooks and it is genuinely the cutest thing ever. So good. Yum. I've never been excited really over food that I've cooked. I mean, maybe in the moment, but then I taste it. I haven't been impressed. All of her food seems like it is healthy, would sit easy on my stomach. I mean, you can tell by looking at me, I'm attractive. And we all know that attractive girls have IBS. So, I'm assuming by the looks of her diet, it's not gonna give me the runs. Today, we are going to be eating like Emily Mariko. I wanna preface this by saying I don't know how to cook. Growing up, I ate hamburgers, TV dinners, and spaghettios and meatballs. My palate is not very wide. She's not very thick. I wanna expand her a little bit. Who knows, maybe I'm gonna fall in love with this. I have this many groceries. Everything that she eats is super fresh and looks delicious, so we need to head to the grocery store and get all of the food for today. To the, to store. the store. When I lived in Wisconsin, there was only like one grocery store to pick from. Now I have like 15 options. I really feel like Emily would shop at like a Whole Foods, a fresh market perhaps. The closest Whole Foods to me is in Tampa and I'm just simply not driving there. So fresh market it is. Red light stop signs. Red light. <laughs> I'm gonna go quick though. Lightning McQueen. Vroom. Secured the bags. Home. Drop a load and see them titties. I came all the way back inside. I went all the way back over there and came all the way back over here just for that shot. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in my kitchen today. Let's see what I got at the grocery store. Balsamic vinegar. Do I even like this? Ooh, sea salt. I probably already had sea salt. I struggled with this one. I don't know how to pick a good avocado, so I really hope this one is like edible. I hope this is an edible avocado. This is the bread she uses. Dave's killer bread, good seed bread. Eggs, a lemon. I'm not exactly sure that she used spinach, but I'm gonna use it because I couldn't tell what it was she was putting on that piece of toast. Arugula. I grabbed some kale because we're gonna make kale chips as a snack. And some strawberries. If you cannot tell, we are making avocado toast with a runny egg. She's really making me work here. A runny egg and strawberries on the side. I'm starving at this point, so let's cook. of avocados. I've said this before and I still am. I just think the texture of avocados is not it, but everyone loves them. So Bitch! I'm speaking. There's got to be a way to make them taste good. There's a thingy on the inside of this somewhere. Oh, I think I picked a pretty good avocado. Something about Emily that I truly admire is she takes 
time to make everything look so beautiful. I am gonna try today. I even got out my fancy marble plates for this video. So when I tell you I'm gonna go all out for the aesthetic, or at least I think I'm going to, I might do it for breakfast, get tired of it, and stop caring. I'm plating my strawberries. Am I being extra right now? Yes. Oh yeah, actually, this is, no. This is definitely the part that's the easiest to mess up. The egg. I really don't think she'd be using Pam. I'm like, close your eyes. Cactus and it starts to rain. Let's see. I'm so nervous. I don't. Can I break it? Please be good, Emily. That's actually really good. It's salty, it's sweet, 10 out of 10. Since I waited so long to make breakfast, I am already hungry. I'm not gonna make lunch because I literally had breakfast 30 or 40 minutes ago, but I am gonna make some kale chips. So I bought a bunch of kale. She didn't give clear instructions on how to make the kale chips. I am just going to guess. I'm just assuming that the stem needs to come off, right? I'm gonna do 400 because I feel like they're supposed to be crispy. If I don't like these, I will just proceed to make lunch. I personally have never consumed this substance, or at least not intentionally, but it might be good. So I wanna make sure I make enough in case I like it. I think that's enough. She put some type of oil on it, so this is just olive oil. Oh, there's a hair. How much do you need? I also don't know exactly what seasonings she put on it, but I'm gonna put some salt. This might be cheating, but this is Lori's seasoning salt. Lori's makes everything taste good. This feels very healthy. I've always watched people do this, but never thought I'd be here massaging some lettuce. Well, kale. Forgot about these in the oven. My camera is charging. Cut me some slack. Kale chip hanging for my soup. Kale chip hanging for my soup. I think I got scared that they were gonna taste like grass and I put too much salt on them. More too salty. It's really late and I haven't ate lunch. It's 3.44 and now this is the second time that I've been to the grocery store today, but I did get what I needed for lunch and dinner. What's on the menu? It is some sort of salad. She made a salad for lunch and it had cheese on it. Here's what's on the salad. Arugula. This just looks like weeds. I don't know if I'm gonna like lunch or dinner. Breakfast was great, but we might have peaked at breakfast because I hate seafood and we're having her famous salmon for dinner. And I also hate tomatoes. So, but I didn't want to cheat. I want to do her recipes as they're supposed to be. It's just a tomato. Do not be afraid of a tomato. Is this the right way to cut a tomato? I don't think so, pal. Some basil leaves. Is basil for decor or for eating? So I'm gonna feel really stupid if I'm not supposed to eat it. Take a bite of mozzarella, a cucumber, some weeds, and a tomato. I can see how if you were into healthy food that you might like this, but if you're wondering what it tastes like, it tastes exactly how it looks. I'm going for that model off-duty look. What do you think? Next on our agenda is whitening our teeth. 
I consume an unhealthy amount of Diet Coke. So if I don't stay on top of whitening my teeth, they end up looking a little, uh, dingy. This sponsor could not have come with a more perfect time. I genuinely cannot think of a easier, more real, more honest integration than this one right now. So with that being said, I would like to say thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Spotlight Oil Care. You guys comment on my teeth all the time and ask me what I'm using to keep my teeth nice and white. And the answer is Spotlight. Spotlight Oral Care is actually created by two Irish dentists. We love the Irish. And they use clinically proven, vegan, cruelty-free, PETA approved, clean ingredients which are suitable for sensitive teeth. And I, I have sensitive teeth. I have a little fun fact for you. Did you know your mouth is 50 times more absorbent than your skin? So it's really important that when you're using something in your mouth that you're looking up the ingredients that are in it. There's two different teeth whitening products that they have that I personally like to use. They have teeth whitening strips, but the real star of the show is this teeth whitening pen. This pen can reduce coffee stains. Your girl drinks a lot of coffee. Tea, if you're into that, tea stains, it'll get rid of those. Red wine, I know a lot of us like to enjoy a little which can stain our teeth, this pen can help you. The pen has instant results, which is what I like. I use it if I'm like a little bit of a hurry hurry. You twist the bottom and the product will start to come out of the top. And then you brush it on your teeth for five minutes. Don't forget your bottom teeth. Now we're gonna wait five minutes. Since switching to Spotlight Oil Care, my teeth have been so much less sensitive. I can drink from a cup without having to go like this. And I've noticed my breath smells better in the morning. You guys also might have spotted this teeth whitening pen on TikTok because she has been making some waves over there. I also use their toothbrush, which has bamboo bristles. And the toothpaste tubes are actually made from a byproduct of sugarcane, making them 100% recyclable. Their dental floss is actually used with recycled plastic bottles, which I thought was cool. And they use biodegradable mailer bags on all of their orders, which can be directly deposited into your compost bin. And so they are never gonna end up in our oceans. By the way, I'm just gonna quickly mention if you guys go the teeth whitening strip route you do this every day for two weeks I just wanted to show you guys more instant results with the pen when I do these it's every single day for two weeks And they stay on for an hour. I just want to say a huge thank you to spotlight for sponsoring today's video Also a huge thank you to you guys because when you guys support partnerships like this It helps support my channel which makes me able to do this for my full-time job So I really appreciate you guys. I love you so freaking much. Thank you spotlight. Look how good they look Oh uh-huh. We don't have Diet Coke stains. All because of Spotlight. I don't know what you're waiting for. Join the Spotlight Oral Care community and get 25% off your first order by clicking the link below and using my code. It's 10 p.m. I don't know how it got this late. I mean, I actually do know how it got this late. I was doing things. And I really debated just finishing this video tomorrow because I'm not hungry. Well, I am hungry, actually. I just... Do I really want to cook a whole freaking salmon right now? But I signed up for this, so I'm gonna do it. And this is the meal you guys are probably the most curious about anyway. Can't stop now, but this is all you're getting from me. I just looked up how to bake a salmon on Google. I bought this one from Target. I would like to say I don't like seafood. So there's a very high chance. Uh, wait, there's scales on it. Was that a mistake? Ooh. Ooh, people are weird. Why do they eat this? It just says salt and pepper. Yeah! Red pepper. Let's cook our salmon that has scales attached to it. To our final meal, the infamous TikTok salmon rice. I had to make a couple substitutes for this because you guys have sold out the Q pie, Q, Q 
Kew pie sauce. Whatever is supposed to go on with the sriracha. I went to three different grocery stores today and I couldn't find it. So I just picked something that looked similar. These are like the little seaweed wraps she uses. I'm kind of scared to eat this because as I was taking the salmon apart, I'm not sure what salmon's supposed to look like, but I don't think I cooked it all the way. But I'm still gonna take a bite. Because I feel like I have to at least try it. I just wanna like put this out there again. I love her, but we just have grown up eating very different foods. My version being TV dinner, so her foods are definitely better than mine. I'm like shaking. It's just a fish. Like it's really not bad. If you like fish, you'll like that. Ooh, that's so spicy. Sriracha is spicy. I don't know, did you guys enjoy this? Was this fun for you? Honestly, this just made me think about how much I don't experiment with cooking. People make themselves three meals a day and they have fun with it and they taste good. That, that in itself is incredibly inspiring and I hope I can be as good of a chef as Emily Mariko one day. But the food that I make might be a little different because I'm not into seafood. I see food, I eat food but I don't eat seafood. Thanks for watching. Let me know if there's anyone else. I'm not like a food eater, diet reviewer, but who knows, maybe, there, maybe you want me to try a diet out or something. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.